Good morning, boys. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are continuing the What If Asta Was In Hunter Hunter series. Um, this is part seven, so if you haven't seen the previous parts by now, I don't know what you're doing. Go go watch those other six. And um, without further ado, let's just hop right into this banger. Gon, Asta, and Killua use an accompany card to meet Ging, so they are transported to the Kakin Empire a country in Asian continent. Upon approaching Ging, they are attacked by the latter, but it turns out that they were actually saved from being attacked by a chimera ant. It's then revealed to be Kite and not Gon's father. Kite is surprised to meet Gon there as he hasn't seen him since he was a child. Since it's late, Kite makes the three dinner and tells stories about Ging as he was Kite's apprentice. They then shift to talking about the chimera ants and how they've become a danger. Asta here ponders the question of what if there were chimera species larger than just an ant, which gets Kite thinking about how dangerous those species could be. Kite asks the boys if they'd like to accompany him in his mission, which of course the boys agree to. They enter a village and are confronted by Ramat, Kite orders Gon and Killua to fight him, to ensure that they were strong enough to handle other ants. They use Nen, but the ant still overwhelms them. Asta then uses his anti-Nen and swords to defeat Ramon. The four head towards a factory, where they are attacked by Yunji's squadron. Asta sees the slaves that Yunji has, and it angers him, with Asta charging at him. Kite, realizing the evil intent of the ants, tells Gon and Killua to kill them with, like, in canon, them doing so. In Asta's fight, it's very one-sided as Yunju hammers down um, Asta. As the fight seems to be over, a bit of darkness from Asta slips out, and Asta sends Yunju flying with a hole through his chest. Kite, then impressed, wants to show off and kills the rest of the ants. Asta is blown away by this. However, Gon and Killua are blown away by Asta's transformation, which then goes away. Later, while walking and having fun, a mysterious creature pops out of nowhere and manages to cut off Kite's arm. Gon is enraged, but Killua quickly knocks him out. Asta is also enraged by this and manages to cut the creature by going into a fraction of his demon form again. Then, Kai yells at the two conscious boys and tells them to leave. Asta and Killua return to the border, where he informs the group of Kite's fate, with Asta still furious. Just then, three pro-hunters, Isaac Nedero, Morel, and Nov, appear, deciding to take care of the ants themselves. Nedero orders Killua to leave, since he was too weak to deal with the ants. However, he asks Asta to stay, as his powers may be useful. Killua, feeling depressed, is brought out of it thanks to Gon, who has woken up and proclaims that Kite is still alive. Morel offers a challenge that if they can beat two of his apprentices, they can join them. They meet Palm, Nov's apprentice, who would help train them for one month until the battle against the two. Asta here doesn't want to interfere and trains by himself for the month. Here, Asta works on his demon form that he's newly acquired, as well as how to hold it for longer and even learns to fly on a sword. After some time, Asta catches up with Gon and Killua and learns about the date he went on and how he can't use Nen for another couple days, as well as how Killua killed Ramat. Quad then goes on a mission and unite at a castle it is revealed that they've managed to recover Kite. However, Kite was in a wrecked state where he was being controlled by the enemy's Nen. He didn't recognize Gon and pummeled him. Asta jumps in and splits the two up. Gon, being unable to stand Kite's state, swears to return him back to normal. Gon, Asta, Killua, Knuckle, Shoot, Morel, and Nov head there, planning to work with Nadero to take down the ants. Gon gets his men back and proceeds to show Morel the tremendous amount of power he has when angered. 
The seven members would be divided into three teams of two on the day of the palace invasion, which was in ten days since, that, since there was a selection that was going on. Like in canon, everyone has the same matchups, except Asta, who joins Netero and Killua's grandfather, Zeno. Netero believes that Asta's anti-Nen might be the edge they need to defeat Meruem. Asta, Gon, and Killua say their goodbyes and split off. On the day of the evasion, Netero and Zeno fly in on a dragon, and Asta flies in on his sword. Finally meeting the Chimera Ant Meruem, he asks if they can fight somewhere else. On the way out, Netero and Asta see Gon and Killua, who had to come to fight Pitto. Netero then points in the direction where Pitto was healing Kumugi, Meruem's friend. Asta then gets locked in, becoming serious, and reflects on what these ants have done to his friends. They finally reach their destination, where Asta immediately charges and gets sent flying by Meruem. Zen Zeno shrugs, calling Asta an amateur. From the sky, Asta's demon form is seen, rushing down towards Meruem. Netero intercepts him before reaching Meruem, telling Asta that he's out of his league. Netero, Zeno, and Meruem have their fight like in canon, with Meruem on top easily. However, as Meruem is about to speak, cockingly, Asta slips in and cuts Meruem, shocking him. Netero then realizes that Meruem can't see Asta's anti -nen. More of Asta's demon form is showing, and is actually impressing Netero. However, Netero realizes that he won't win. He tells Zeno to leave and as he begins preparing poor man's rose. Since it takes time, Asta is in charge of distracting Meruem. Their battle proceeds with Meruem having to dodge his attacks rather than having it just brush off. Then Netero tells Asta to rush out of here and release his poor man's rose. Asta flies away as fast as he can, not getting touched by the explosion. Everyone else, however, like in canon, is hit. Like in canon as well, Netero dies and Gon beats P2 and ends up in the hospital badly injured, ending the Chimera Ant's reign. And that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe. You know the drill, the whole shebang already. Uh, it means a lot that you guys have been keeping up with this series and liking it and, you know, again, pushing it out in the way that you guys have. So thank you. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, next time. Take care and peace.